There has to be a little bit of jealousy. Right? But you're over here, I'm a nice guy. Oh, how can I wash your toes, my queen? Oh, can can I lick on your toes? I'm a nice guy. I'll wash your feet for you. I will bend over backwards for you. Like, oh baby. Like I should smack y'all niggas, man. Y'all so Mighty gang, what's going on with y'all, man? You already know what it is. It's your boy bringing y'all back another dope video, man. So, before I get into it, man, you already know you gotta go subscribe and like the video, man. All that good stuff, right? Man, today, man, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about some real shit, man. Because y'all, y'all, y'all boys, man, <laughs> y'all boys kill me sometimes, bruh. Like, like some of the shit y'all do, it's just like, what, what, really, nigga, really. Like, bruh, let her go. She does not care about you. You over here. Oh, baby, I miss you. Oh, baby, I miss you. Hey, good morning, queen. You're my everything. Looking stupid, bruh. Looking so stupid. Like, bruh, y'all niggas, y'all niggas, man. Y'all doing too much. Right? You guys have to understand, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Right? I'm going to say that one more time. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Right? When a chick is missing you, right? No, let me, let me my, my, my bad. How is a chick supposed to miss you and think about you when you all up on her under her nose every single day? Hey, how you doing? Hey, I, I just took a shit at 1 p.m. Right? Guys, you need to keep some things to yourselves. You need to keep some things to yourselves, right? The chick doesn't need to know that you opened the window two minutes ago. You don't need to tell the, the chick every single detail about your last meal. Oh yeah, so I took the knife, I slowly sliced through the chicken, and I and I dipped it in the, the chipotle mayo, and then ate it. Like, you're wondering why these chicks get so sick and tired of you so quickly, right? You guys are giving the chicks nothing to work with. You're not giving her no you know no uh nothing to worry about you're not making her feel a little bit wee a wee bit uncomfortable right she's too comfortable in the situation right women don't like being so comfortable right They're like in some situations yeah women, you want to make a woman feel comfortable but in some situations you don't want to make a woman feel comfortable right because when you make a woman feel so comfortable in some situation you're giving her vibes of her uncle her dad right her family that's the vibes you're giving her Right? That that's not turning her on. Sometimes you gotta make a woman feel a wee bit uncomfortable. There has to be a little bit of jealousy. Right? But you're over here, I'm a nice guy. Oh, how can I wash your toes, my queen? Oh, can can I lick on your toes? I'm a nice guy. I'll wash your feet for you. I will bend over backwards for you. Like, oh baby. Like I I should smack y'all niggas, man. Y'all so still do some stupid shit like this, man. Like, y'all giving these girls so much free attention. It's crazy. Right? The dating standards are, are, are unbelievable today the way they are because of the modern male. Because of your fellow modern male. Because of your homeboy. That's why these dating standards are crazy. Because these, these dudes are flying chicks out. We got dudes taking tr ch chicks on trips, right? <laughs> after just meeting them or not even I'm meeting them flying chicks out on the first date like what I don't blame these women I honestly don't blame them bruh if I was a woman bruh oh man I'd be finessing y'all if I was a woman I'd finesse y'all bruh like this is why I say you can't blame these women because if you had all the options you want, you got dudes out here trying to fly you out. Dudes trying to take you on, on trips to Spain. Dudes spending $500 on first date. Come on, bruh. Come on now. Are you going to pass up on that? Nobody's passing up on that. Right? That's what I'm saying. You can't blame the woman. It's not the Western woman, bruh. It's you. It's you. If your game is trash here, when you fly overseas because you think it's going to be easier, right? it's still going to be the same. Right, your your game is still gonna be trash there too. Right, y'all dudes are suckers, man. Let her go. She don't love you no more. She don't love you no more, bruh. She gave you a she gave you a try because you were nice and you were cool at the start, but now you're a nice guy. Now you're being too nice, right? You're doing too much now. 
She's not attracted by you anymore. You don't get her wet anymore. You see, this is the, the, the why they say I don't have feelings for you anymore because you're not making her feel the way you was making her feel. Right when you first met her and you're giving her those bad boy vibes, those bad boy energy, the I don't give a fuck mentality, the my way or the highway mentality, she was so attracted to you then. But now you folded, now that you became a bitch, right? She doesn't want nothing to do with you no more. She doesn't want to deal with you no more. Because you folded. Right? She feels like you're so easy. She feels like she could just walk all over you, right? If she's getting all the attention for free, right? She's getting all the attention and all the validation for free. Why would she feel like she needs to give you any? Why would she feel like she needs to let you in her pants if she can? She's already getting everything out of you for free. Why? Doesn't make any sense. Like, come on, y'all, man, y'all, y'all gotta stop putting these chicks on a pedestal. Y'all gotta stop putting them on a pedestal. Right? Just how the good because just how these chicks are so good looking, you my G, you can be just as good looking as them. Right? If you hit the gym, right? Hit the gym, go do that cardio. You know what I'm saying? Get your cardiovascular up. You know what I'm saying? Lift them weights, get strong, build some lean muscle, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, do back day, build those back muscles, right? So you can, you know, so you can stand taller right have nice posture so you can really walk around like you him and you're gonna feel like you him because you're gonna feel good right you're gonna be feel good about yourself you're gonna feel confident right you will feel like you that guy right and you're gonna be walking by dudes and there's gonna be like oh yeah you got your nice broad shoulders right <laughs> i'm saying your chest is huge right back wide as fuck Oh no 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 no, no brother! I I I don't wanna try him. Hey bro, you see you see bro over there? Oh no, he's shredded, bro. I don't wanna try him, but respect to him though, cause he put in the work. Right now, no, no, yeah, I know it's not easy to get like that, bro. Man, maybe we should have start hitting the gym too. Then maybe we need to get in the gym, bro. I wanna look like him, bro, cause I know damn well I like, ain't nobody trying to wanna try him. Oh no, I ain't trying him. Oh no, player, <laughs> have it your way, player. I I don't I don't want no smoke. I don't want it. Right? Some of y'all dudes, man. Some of y'all dudes are nerds. Like, yeah, like, it's okay to be a nerd. It's okay. But don't make that your whole entire era. Don't make it the whole, like the only thing you're about. Right? Have some other things to you. It's okay to be book smart. It's okay to be, you know, to like reading your book, like your science and your study. It's okay. But just don't make that your only thing. Right? Enjoy, enjoy some things. Go and enjoy some food, some restaurants. Right, go do some, go do some nice things for yourself. Right, but don't, so don't be a nerd. Don't make this shit the only thing about you. Right, that's the, that's the only issue when you make it your only thing. Right, but guys, man, back to the main topic, guys. Right, she doesn't want you. Just let her go. Let her go be with him. Let let her spin the block when you are shredded. When you when you've been hitting the gym, she's gonna be like, oh, you've been working out. Oh, look at your arms. Wow, look at your abs. Okay, you've been putting in that work, right? You 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 stepping out. You cold as fuck, right? Your physique on point. You dressing fly. You know what I'm saying? You you, you looking good. Your you, you, your shoulders are nice and broad, man. You look shredded. Don't nobody wanna try you. Everybody in the room knows that you him. Everybody knows you that guy and you don't even gotta say it because your physique says it all, right? That's like you're, it's like you're walking, you're, walk, you're walking around with a trophy, right? When you go to the gym, you put in the work, you get to the grind, right? You make results, right? You're like walking around with your award on you. Right, so everybody knows your accomplishment. That hard work, it's it's right there. Everybody knows you put in the work like that. It's automatic respect. Right? Don't nobody nobody can disrespect the work. It's hard. Right? Even if you don't nobody know, don't nobody care about how much you hate the dude personally. But if he put in that work, you can't deny it. You can't. You honestly can't. There's nothing you can say about that. The work don't lie. The work doesn't lie. If, if, if every man automatically respects a, a guy who's got a nice physique because right, everybody knows every man knows that building a physique take is a lifetime everybody knows building a physique takes time dedication hard work right and a lot of me mental pain that shit takes a lot out of you to build a physique so it's automatic respect because it's like yo bro really went through that man props to him nah you automatically got my respect because man 
building a physique everybody knows y'all follow me y'all go to the gym right y'all know how sore you get the next day after you're done working out y'all know that pain right it's not it it is really not it bruh the cramps and shit muscle spasm pulling muscles right um feeling tired feeling drained physically drained right you want to go hang out with your friends and do some fun you can't because you got no fucking energy at all right that's respectable people respect that people know what it takes to build what you've built right it's automatic respect because it shows that you respect yourself because if you because the reason why that showed he uh, left you because you didn't respect yourself all of a sudden you got your piece of booty all on are you done with the gym oh no i don't need to go to the gym anymore oh no i'm good i'm content now i got me a piece of ass i'm straight i don't need to go to the gym i don't need to do my, take care of my skin i don't need to do none of that i don't need to dress well anymore now nah, fuck that i'm good and then now she's she's leaving you now she's not fucking with you anymore and you're wondering why right that, that that girl she was fucking with you she liked you in the first place because you were on your shit you was dressing fly right you was hitting the gym two, four or five times a week you were looking shredded you were eating healthy you were taking care of your skin right you were getting to that bag right she loved you right she was all about you but then as soon as you got yourself a piece of booty right oh no 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 i don't need the gym anymore bro i don't need to take care of my skin i don't need to dress well anymore fuck that i'm gonna sit here and be a bum and this girl's gonna love me for who i am and i don't even gotta do nothing i ain't gonna put in no effort nothing at all right and you're wondering why she leaving and you're wondering why she's not fucking with you no more you folded and now you're moving like a bum and you're wondering why she's not fucking with you no more come on bruh Get your shit together, man. It's been your boy. I'm out. Peace.